Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And we'll kick off just moments away. We really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's the Flyboys against the Nutters. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the lineup for the home side. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two balls who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. And the lineup for the Nutters looks like this. Well, it's 4-4-2 against 4-4-2. You don't see that very often these days. I'm sure we're going to see slightly different versions of it once the game gets going, particularly in the wide areas. I like about that pass. Well, he's given us away. Comes to nothing in the end. Well, a promising-looking attack from the Nutters. Di Natale. Lack composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Barnes. They couldn't quite muster a real threat. Antonio Di Natale. Teammates available. Di Natale. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. And the Fly Boys get the ball rolling once more. Let's find out how they're going to react to this setback. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Danilo. Caddy Garis. And a tidy challenge. A very attractive passing sequence. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. This to get back into it. And he slots it home with confidence. And back underway here. Go for the fly boys means it's very much game on. Dimitar Bevatov. Just the challenge that was required. Danilo. Well, it's a good move in the making from the fly boys. there corner for the fly boys maybe a chance for them to equalize oh 
What a there, and what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. Good as it looks when it left the boot. Rodrigo and deliver towards the back post. Oh, that's just a finish! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Magnificent! Well, just look at this magnificent agility, perfect timing, and great connection. What a goal that is! So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back in business here, it wasn't easy for the fly boys in the first half, but they showed improvement here in the second. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Missed it clear. Traore. Antonio Di Natale. Real conviction in the challenge. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And it was turned out, so a throw in will be next. Now with Diego Carlos. The Dottos have possession once more. Traore. Antonio Di Natale. Dimitar Berbatov. Rosinski. It did look odd for them, but not to me. Be the turning point. The fans are certainly hoping so. He's keen on cutting in. Danilo. Decides to shoot. Oh, good work by the keeper. Can someone get on the end of this? Danger still on. Frank's over for now, it seems. Being egged on by the crowd. And he stopped them in their tracks. Antonio Di Natale. Oh, what a top notch pass. Di Natale. Okay. Still trying to make something happen. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. It in. A bit short with the clearance. Denis. Can he finish this? Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Denis. Marino. Here's Carvajal. Ten minutes 
minutes to go. Intercepting it intelligently. Almost at full time, and I'll tell you what, playing away from their home patch has been a pleasant experience for them, Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. to beat him is it going to be they've got themselves back into it a lifeline in this game and this could be a dramatic finale he continues his run oh, space if he goes inside oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Berbatov. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game. The chances at both ends. They probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. And here's Paolo Foot.